Hey there, looking to change the voice of your video? Well in this video I'll be talking about the tool called Wavel. To get started, go to Wavel, click on the login button over on the top right corner, create your account by filling out the details here. This tool helps with multiple options like creating captions, subtitles, voiceovers etc. But for this video, we'll be checking out how to change audio of any video. Once you are on the dashboard, click on Generate Voice Change on the top. Browse or drag and drop your required video from your system or you can even export it via any public URL. In this case, I'll be using one of the videos I've on my system. Here we go. Once the file shows Upload Complete, click on the Next button and let's start. Once you have selected the files, next comes the language selection. Select the source language that the file is in, followed by the voice samples available on the dashboard and select the one that suits your needs the best. When all the details are selected, click on Process and let's get started. Here, there are two things that you have to check, first, the content is accurate, and second, the tonality that you require is up to the mark. You can play individual lines and make the changes or you can play the entire audio, video and go over the entire script. Once you make any kind of changes, always make sure that you rebuild the TTS version, like this. Unless you click on Rebuild, the changes will not get saved. Further changes that you can work on include emphasizing any particular word or sentence, or how you want the word to be spoken and even adding a pause before starting with the next word. For that, simply select the word like this and the menu pops up near the cursor as you can see on the screen. Now click on Emphasis and select from the four options available here. You can select any one of the options and check the result by replaying the line. In case you are not satisfied, go over the exercise again until the desired result is achieved. Similarly, the next option that you have is, Say As. Once you click on, Say As, the following menu opens up. Here you have the option to change the way the voiceover pronounces the particular word. That is, let's say you have a date written in the content that you want to be spoken in similar kind, you can opt for that, or let's say you have a bunch of numbers that you want to be spoken separately, you can choose, Numbers, from the drop-down menu. Once the type is selected, click on Save and play the line to see the results. The last one in the menu is Add Pause. Just like the word says, this option allows you to add pause before any particular word or set of words. Once you click on it, it takes you to the following menu. Now you can choose any time that is already available here or alternatively add your own time in the space given over here. Once you select any line, you also get three options at the bottom, like this. Here, if you want to add a new line, click on Add and type out the content that you want to. The second option is Speech Setting. When you click on it, the following menu opens up. Here, you can change the speaking rate, voice pitch or even voice volume as per your requirement. Once the changes are made, click on Change here and the system will update the details. Now, on the top, you see the Settings option. If you wish to make changes in the voice, click on the settings over here and you can change the accent, speaker, and even tonality. Based on how you want the changes to appear, I, E, only in any particular line or throughout the script, select or deselect the, include all sentences, toggle switch. Once done, click on, save and build. The system will update the changes throughout the script accordingly. Once you are satisfied with the changes and the file looks good to go, click on Download and Viola, you have your new voice data with you.